It's five in the morning, 48 degrees right now. We're in Florida City. We're heading down to Flamingo to fish. This is Real Time with Florida Sportsman. All right, this is it, Don's Bait and Tackle. This place is a place to stop if you're heading down to Everglades, Flamingo, Lower Keys. This guy has everything. We're going here, we're gonna meet our, this week's guest host, Scott Brown. Pick up any last minute items that we need. Scott Brown. George, George Johnson, man, pleasure to meet you. you. How's the trip? I was in bed, I was ride. Have some fish? I am. So I meet Scott Brown, my guest host for the day at Don's Bait and Tackle. Don's is a killer little store in Florida City. Everything they could possibly need. We needed some last minute items, and Ashley, the owner of Don's, hooked us up with some killer hand-picked shrimp. So the plan is to follow Scott down into Flamingo Park. I had no idea. This is another hour drive from Don's to get to the boat ramp. That's how remote this place is. You know, this week has been Super cold, blast of Arctic airs come down. Pretty much slowed the fishing in the northern sections of the state. Following Botronics up to the northeast region, he was on a good bite, but it's just too darn cold, man. We're 42 degrees right now, all the way down in the Everglades. Down the Keys, you know, that bite's still going on as well. Johnny Black had a great report of some Wahoo, some offshore action. But, you know, Scott's been on a great redfish bite here down in Flamingo. He took his dad out last week, had a great trip. This is what we're going to do. So it's pitch black. You cannot see a thing. You step out of the truck, you can't see your hand in front of your face. And then the sun starts to rise. And let me tell you, it starts to reveal the beauty of this park. Unbelievable. Couldn't go past the uh, tourist stop here. Our cameraman was salivating over this. It is nice. Beautiful. Can we go, please? Flamingo lies inside the Everglades National Park. We're talking about one and a half million acres that have been set aside since 1934. After a 45 minute drive, we end up at our final destination, Florida Bay. 800 square miles of some of the most beautiful and diverse water I've ever seen. Scott, I saw in your post, you know, you're on a pretty good redfish and trout bite. Tell me about that post on the forum. Well, we're running up to the Cape area and uh, working some bays and creeks. And uh, there's actually a, a school of reds working with some mullet milling through. And uh, just threw some gulp shrimp and some uh, live baits on the bottom using knocker rigs and, and we were tearing them up, man. We caught about 10 reds within the hour. Um, some trout mixed in, we had, we had a great day. So today is considerably colder than when you fish. So you think it's going to, how it's going to affect our fishery? Yeah, we got our, our first little taste of winter here in it's South Florida. Arctic blast. So uh, we're going to be working some deeper holes, you know, some cuts, and uh, hopefully those fish are stacked in there. We can drop some baits down and uh, pick them on up. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. So we pull in the East Cape Canal. The first thing I notice is a guy hooked up into a big snook. I'm thinking, game on. Let's get our baits out there. Let's rig up. Let's catch some fish. Tell me, this is a technique that you're utilizing down here, especially on this cold morning. We're using some live shrimp on a jig head. Yes, sir. I'm gonna grab these little jigs. I like to hook them right up through this here. You're just right up through the head, through the clear spot. Yep. All right. Let's get some going. Get some sitting right in the bottom. All right. I'll try that. Sorry, buddy. Dinner time. Scott says that's the technique right there, buddy. Good. 
First one, yes, sir. This guy catches that black drum right away, which is cool. I mean, it's a great fish. And the next thing I know, he's got a snook on. This kid is working me. Oh, a little snooklet. He woke up. Yeah. Baby. They followed you down. I think they did. That is a great little fish. Good job, brother. You weren't lying on that. I'm not lying. Can I catch one? I'm gonna let one for you right now. You gonna let me go? I'll let you uh, go. While you retie, let me yep. let me get a cast. Take you. advantage. Catch up. Oh, that's the sound I like to hear. Okay, now Scott's starting to get on my nerves. He's starting to piss me off. This kid is catching all the fish. We weren't expecting a snook bite. Snook is supposed to be my specialty. That's what I do is catch snook. He is working me like a part-time job. Now, I noticed that this week's Guest host. He's out fishing me big time. Got a little heavier jig head than me. I don't know how long you're gonna wait to tell me. But I figured that I'm known. So finally I catch one, but it's a cricket. It's half the size of the ones that Scott's catch. Twice the size of mine. Twice the size. I never would have thought we'd catch these this morning. I mean, this is the coldest days of the year we're having so far. Oh, oh, oh. I'm getting ready. It's my turn. It's gonna happen. That. Really? Oh! Of course, I missed mine. This is such a simple technique to use. I mean, it's, it really is so basic that anybody can come out here and just do this. And you could probably do this anywhere. Just a jig head and a live shrimp. Everybody sells live shrimp. What a fish. George, you plan on uh, catching some fish today or what, buddy? Oh, rub it in. <laughs> rub it in. He's rubbing it in now. So often you put all this preparation in, this time, you travel. Oh, and you don't always catch them. You don't always catch them like this. It's just so nice to go somewhere first thing in the morning. Just hook up left and right. Nice. Pretty good. Oh, well, he didn't like that. Catching up. Scott, I know, I know you don't like it, buddy, but I'm catching, catching up. up. I've lost count. I don't know how many we're up to. He's still stroking me, but I'm doing, doing all right. I think he liked it. Yeah, I think so. I switched over to the gulp shrimp just to see how that would go. First cast, I caught one. So we're catching the fish like nobody's business. But looking at the Florida Sportsman Forum post from Scott Brown, I knew he was on the fish. But that wasn't the only reason why I came and visited Scott. 
You know, Scotch Post told a personal story that I think we can all relate to. So Scott, how long have you been coming down here to Flamingo? Several years, man, since I was a younger kid. Me and my dad used to come down here a lot. And uh, it's, that's what's really remarkable about the place. It's not all about catching fish and uh, busting fish. It's really, you know, kind of just taking the whole environment. And uh, actually, recently, I had uh, some tough times, lost a family member. And that's exactly why we came down here, you know, just kind of taking the sights, kind of take our minds off. And, and, and this place can be more than just catching fish. It's, it's really therapeutic sometimes. So. I noticed that in your post, you said, you know, that kind of, that's what drew me to your post, is I saw that you said you lost your mom and you went fishing with your dad and it was time to kind of unite with him and kind of you made me forget about the bad times for a little bit. Yeah, absolutely, and, and for me at least, there's nothing better than fishing. Man. That's what fishing is all about, about getting on the water, forgetting your worries, forgetting your troubles, enjoying your time with your friends. Nice fish. That is a stud fish going to sea. This water is so cold right now that yeah. if you would have said we'd be on this smooth bike today, no way. The ice cubes. Oh, she's cold. She's eating. They still gotta eat. The water on your camera there, big daddy. Water on the camera. I'm gonna throw a Rapala crankbait. How deep that thing runs? Oh, we're about to find out. We got a little show here to watch. We got one, two, three, four, five. There's six boats in this one spot. Everybody's, everybody's hooking up. Rapala. Hmm. Who would throw a crankbait on a super cold morning? I would. Mm, look at that. Look at that. There we go. How could you not want to fish for that? We've caught them on just about everything we have in the boat. Crankbaits, soft plastics. On the gulp, on the raffle, on the shrimp. We're gonna do the unthinkable. We're gonna leave fish to find fish. Gotta do it. So let's that wreck. Let's do it. God, what an incredible fishery. On Scott's forum post, you could see he was on a redfish bite. And I think he wanted to prove to me that they were in there. Now don't get me wrong, I was perfectly happy staying catching snook, but the boy was on a mission. He needed to show me there were some redfish in that canal. Scott's plan is to head up East Cape Canal. You know, it has a bunch of these little finger canals. The points and bends actually have been washed out, you know, undercut the mangroves and created these deep holes where the fish just sit down there on the bottom. Got that red? Finish the slam. So the move pays off. Scott gets his inshore slam. The trout, the red, and the snook. I know there's a red in there with my name on it. The cameraman just told me to throw there. Good call. There's my red fish. This place has been incredible, man. I tell you, your post on the Floor Sportsman Forum on the south section did not do this place justice. This place has been absolutely incredible. We've caught snook, trout, reds, black drum, jacks. It's 12 o'clock. Lunchtime. It's lunch. What else is there to do? Not much. How about we get some lunch, man? Let's do it. Thanks, thanks for everything. Absolutely. It's been an awesome trip. And that's it. Florida Sportsman Forum member Scott Brown showcased the best of the Everglades National Park. He was gracious enough to share his vast knowledge of Flamingo. The posts, the pictures, the reports, they just don't do the place justice. It's one of those places that just has to be visited. Don't kill me cleaning. This is what you know. Are you killing weeds? <laughs> Dude, was that butter? That was butter. That, give it to me, that was butter. It was all right, I thought you were gonna bust the cowling off the motor. You got nervous, didn't you? I did. Oh. Shank. <laughs> Straight out. <laughs> Let me show you how I do yeah, 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 go ahead. Florida Sportsman Forum members, I need your help. I need your posts, your pics, and your reports to tell me where the hot bite is. I'm searching and lurking every night. 
I want to bring your post to life with Real Time with Florida Sportsman.